To install the Container Tools module, run. To create a new SAM user account, run. To set up a password for the user SAM, run. To connect to the user using SSH, run. Do not use the su-username command, because using that command doesn't set the correct environment variables. To log into the image registry, run. To inspect the HTTPD image, to pull the image on your system, run. To verify, run. To add the tag HTTPD-24 to the pulled image, run. To verify, run. To create the www.dos data directory, run. To create the index.html file, run. To run an instance of the HTTPD-24 image in a detached mode, exposing port 8080 on the local host, setting environment variables, and mounting a local directory inside the container, type. To verify that the container has been created, run. To verify that the data can be transferred from the specified storage on the container with a forwarded port, run. To define a user service, we need to create the systemd user units directory, then work inside this directory.
to create the systemd unit files to manage the container, run. Notice that the previous command generated a systemd unit file named container-httpd.service. To verify that the container-httpd.service systemd unit file is generated, run. The systemd user instance is terminated after the last user session is closed. The systemd user instance can be kept running even after the user logs out by enabling lingering using the command. To verify that linger is enabled for the user SAM, run. To stop the HTTPD container, run. To verify, run. To remove the HTTPD container, run. To verify that the HTTPD container is removed, run. To reload systemd manager configuration, run. To enable the service container dot service and start it, run. To check the status of the service, run. To verify the container has been created, run. Let's stop the HTTPD container, then reboot the system to verify that the container is persistent. To reboot the system, run. To connect to the user SAM using SSH, run. To verify that the container is running type, 